Have you ever noticed that the surface of water acts as if it were a stretched skin? You can break the skin, push things through it, but it comes together again and stretches and stretches and stretches. But it's broken very easily by one drop of detergent. But water with detergent or soap makes a skin of a different sort. One that can be stretched around some air to make a bubble. Well, can you make a cubic bubble? What about stretching that soapy film on a cubic frame? But the result isn't a cubic bubble. That film always contracts to form the smallest possible area. Not a cube, but a different shape inside the cubic frame. And other frames form complex bubble shapes as well. In each case, the bubble film forms a shape with the smallest possible area. And in the case of a free bubble, which has no supporting frame, that shapes a sphere. I want to know. Curiosity.